Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I'm Brad, here with Doug. Hi. Fortnite Battle Royale came out recently. Uh, and this is something mm -hmm. we both just kind of downloaded out of nowhere and thought, huh, what's this about? And yeah, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you start. Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, I think we both kind of went like zero expectations of this. It sounded kind of cool, but I was like, oh, it's a rip off of that other game. <laughs> yeah, I know about it. <laughs> but neither one of us played that other game, which is uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Yeah. So this was kind of our first experience of this whole battle royale mode. I think I know it was my first. You didn't play that at all, right? Or nothing like no, that? No, no, no. I I'd sort of heard about it, but it's just like there's always like these like kind of weird like YouTube -y trends that I hear about. Like yeah. it's like oh, this game gets really popular, and I'll just never play it. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of how I felt about it too. And I honestly didn't really even know what it was. But um, sitting down with this and kind of seeing how you took a game like Fortnite that I don't think is anything like this, and just kind of threw this no. on top of it. And now it's this whole new thing. So if you're not really familiar with uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds or Fortnite Battle Royale, it's really a pretty simple concept, but it just works so well, which yeah. is just you drop into this map, pick a spot, and then your goal is to just live out past everybody else. So there's 100 people drop in on people, the island, yeah. and you shoot the people if they come near you, and you try and live till the end. <laughs> yeah it's such it is kind of like a weird concept because it's always one of those things like i remember reading pc gamer like way back in the day and they'd always talk about like imagine a game that was like world war ii where you had hundreds of players playing at once or just having a hundred players at once it's been the sort of this thing like i think it's been talked about yeah um for for a long time i just don't think everybody's ever actually like tried it because it just sounds like such like kind of like a uh, it's not, it sounds like such a simple concept, but I think I think there's a lot of weird networking back end of getting 100 people playing together in a shooter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff like that when just with... I think a lot of the stuff in there is randomly generated in terms of drops and things like that and where things drop. So yeah, there's a lot of that stuff going into it, too. So there's a lot of weird little systems at play, but it is one of those things that you just kind of like, yeah, we're just going to make this giant world, throw 100 people in it and see what happens. It does seem like one of those far off ideas like somebody had back in 1999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no ex yeah, exactly. And then somebody actually did it. And it's actually not bad. I think I think the idea of just throwing 100 people to map just sounds like immediately chaotic and just like it just wouldn't work. But I, th I think what's really cool is that you have 100 people instead of just like straight up shooting each other. It's not like any deathmatch game I've played before. It's 100 people like thinking, planning, stalking, hiding. Um, it's a very different different atmosphere i think than like most most like deathmatchy games i've played before because it's definitely not yeah i it be, i think it's just because all the guns hit really hard and you have one life and that's it yeah um that there is like an immense amount of like pressure on the game that you don't immediately have with like, like i've been playing destiny like multiplayer it's just like who gives a shit if i died like, <laughs> it means literally nothing i killed but two people one, i like, died i died and didn't kill anybody it all evens out in the end <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's all i watch it doesn't yeah matter. but here it's like that getting killed sucks yeah that pressure <laughs> you're talking about is crazy and especially as you go through like you drop in you're just kind of running around trying to find your gun or whatever because you just drop in with a pickaxe and which does really nothing in terms of combat so you drop mm -hmm. in you try and just find a gun so that first like maybe five minutes just kind of like oh okay i'll go look over here like what's in this house like as long as you're smart about where you drop you don't land next to somebody it's a lot of just kind of like looking around and as the game progresses it just gets more and more to this like oh shit do i want to go over there oh god oh <laughs> man there's gonna be somebody in that house uh do i need another gun no i don't need another gun i can yeah. uh, and it just you feel this constant sense of dread this constant need to like look around in a circle like somebody's behind you and even yeah. if you get to a place where you think you're safe you still are like kind of like okay i gotta look out that window turn around look out that window or <laughs> wherever you happen to be so there's, i love that feeling of pressure and just that feeling like something bad's gonna happen i feel like 50 percent of the time when i die it ends up just being like oh crap yep somebody snuck up behind me and got me <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think like the actual because you because i think it's because you're just thinking so hard it's like you're like kind of like taking a test of sorts and then somebody just comes by and rips your paper in half it's like oh well what the fuck man i was like <laughs> i was doing a thing <laughs> That's a really good analogy, actually. Like, oh, I'm, yes, I'm in 10th place. Only 10 people left. Oh, I got this. Okay, there's one guy there, one guy. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, Start oh, over. That and, it, <laughs> yeah. and there's, like, there's absolutely, like, no fanfare of, like, when you're dead. No, like, not at all. It's, it's just, just, like, yeah. You're dead. 7th place. 
Sorry. And then, and then sometimes, like, um, my uh, my girlfriend really likes to watch. Like, well, she likes to watch me play, but then she likes she does. She gets really mad if I click away when I'm like done. She's like, no, I want to watch other people play. And there is nothing worse than seeing a guy come over and pick up your stuff. <laughs> like... <laughs> but you were so hard to find, and he scavenged through house after house, and he just like, like, oh, rocket launcher, yes, please. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know exactly. It's like and you just like I knew I was saving then. It's like if he kills a guy, god damn, okay, he killed the guy. All right, that was that was gonna be my strategy. I hope you're happy with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, no, I, I think I think the. I, I just I like that that that's this the strategy aspect of being able to because it really sucks to get snuck up on but it really feels good to sneak up on somebody else when they don't oh, see yeah. you, um, and it's and it's really cool I like how everybody has like very different strategies going in I think there's some people like very gung ho and like killing a bunch of people, um, I think when I first started like I like to hide a lot like just like really really hide 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 and you can do that and like but then after a while it's like well if you actually play a little bit more aggressively than that and add hiding be able to play aggressive and like that's kind of what i've been sort of settled into um so i like watching other people play because there's also these people who build a lot of shit and i have i don't think i've ever built a structure except for stairs <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a weird mechanic that i i feel like doesn't matter a whole lot until end game i feel like the last yeah. the last when you get down to five to ten people there's a whole lot of weird building almost mini game ask who can build the biggest fort type thing yeah <laughs> type stuff going on but up until that point there are some kind of cool things with it though that do give you tracks to people so there's every now and mm -hmm. then you'll see like a shed but on stilts so you're running past this and you'll oh, see yeah. you can tell the difference between a user constructed thing and something that's a part of the map so you'll see stairs going up it and you can kind of almost tell just based on like oh okay that's yep all right those are new stairs i don't want to go over there because somebody built those stairs to go hide up in there so i need to kind of be careful here so it's a weird yeah. mechanic just because it does leave tracks for where you are. And there are some benefits to it too, just with the, cause not only can you can construct things, but you can take things apart. So there's one yeah. game where I ended up just like in a house and just, or in like a watchtower and the watchtower ended up towards the end and went through and kind of took out all of the stairs behind it. So I knew nobody could come up and get to me and kind of hung out up there for a couple minutes, which works at times. It doesn't work at times because when you get to explosives, those can pretty much just, kill you knock you down because it's obvious you're up there but there's yeah. a lot of weird little things that that building mechan mechanic adds to this and i think that is something that's unique to this and isn't a part of PUBG at all as yeah. far as i'm aware but again that awareness is very little <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's, it's definitely it's definitely its own mechanic and I, I think it is like when i see people play with it i i feel like whenever i see building stuff it doesn't it never feels like i don't know when i first saw people they do building like these crow's nesty things that just kind of felt sort of like cheese ball -y. i don't know like it's it just felt very like cheesing the game a little bit yeah. like the, like basically what it is you build a square and you just build like stairs all over around inside it so you can like basically peek up peek down peek up peek yeah. down and, like that was it um but i did but in the thing too like i never quite understood the building is because like as soon as you start shooting their structure they get very nervous about that like people do not like when you shoot like oh yeah yeah people run real <laughs> quick when you start shooting other stuff yeah yeah like because that's what it's funny it's just like oh if you just like shoot this shit or like some people who like make like really big staircase it's just shoot the bottom staircase and you'll see it like boom 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 is it slowly so I, I don't quite i feel like i don't quite get building yet um like i've tried messing around with it a little bit um but yeah i, I feel like it adds kind of like an interesting mechanic but it feels kind of a counterintuitive to the rest of the game of that sneaking around and being quiet and um and it, it just feels it feels like almost like counterintuitive so like i i don't know how i quite feel about it yet um but yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I don't know. This game is like, it's like slowly creeping out like my game in a year list, like weirdly enough. <laughs> um, and like, it also feels like I'm playing like the inferior version of whatever PUBG is. <laughs> so <laughs> like, if this is that good, what's PUBG like? Yeah, I, um, I would be very curious to play both. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. neither I'm not a PC person at all and don't even have one. So that's not really yeah. going to happen. But I am, I am curious to know the kind of like somebody's take on the differences between them because... I never really get that feeling if I'm playing an inferior version of something. I feel like I'm playing yeah. a just a different take on it, like a Battlefield versus Call of Duty, that sort of mm -hmm. thing, where it's like, you know what? Yes, these are incredibly similar, but yeah. there's these subtle tweaks to them that I think probably make them more independent of each other, uh, which is mm -hmm. kind of nice. And I don't know. I do think uh, just playing through it, and the more you play it, the more people have kind of learned what to do with this, too it's changed even like the way that people are managing the game a little bit because oh, yeah, yeah. are, are people hiding more? And like you said, there's, there's this weird trend where you can play this game whatever way you want to, whether mm -hmm. you want to just try and find the best gun and run around and kill as many people as you want. You can do that. 
you can literally just sit in a house for 20 minutes and do pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Which does, that is one thing that bothers me a little bit is the fact that like I could just hop up in a house, set my controller down, go cook dinner, come back down, look, oh, still alive, okay, go back up, eat a little dinner, come back down, go, oh, score, third place, not bad. No, see, I, I, I totally disagree with that because I think the storm changes that aspect. Because I think a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like camping in this game. But I think just because of the circle that's completely changing, like you aren't just sitting there the entire time. I think I think the camping thing, like I, I think people don't, because I, I like to camp. So I'm like, I like to speak <laughs> You're, you're trying to defend can... yourself here is what you're doing. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. But it's but it's not because it's not just like I'm sitting at once. It's because the circle is moving and knowing when to move with the circle is like, that's the strategy. Like, yeah, sitting in a house isn't a strategy. But sitting on a house that's right on the edge of the circle, or maybe just like you know, right off the circle's edge, sort of thing, and then moving only the last second, like that's the strategy aspect. So I'm not gonna say somebody who's like sitting in a house the whole time is like you know, you, you can sometimes get lucky. It'll be like yeah, you'll just that, happen that's to more hit what this, I'm talking circle, is, circle. Yeah, those times where you get lucky, and you're like, oh, yeah. this is just gonna enclose right in the house that I started at. Perfect. Yeah. Done. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, because I've had I've had one or two games like that where I just like kind of drop in, I'm hanging around my house, grabbing my stuff or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'll just be like, oh. I really don't think I'm going to have to move. And it almost makes me sad when that happens because <laughs> it's just like, well, I, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get top 10, top 20 automatically if I just don't even leave this house. Yeah. And I think like no, you I, said, part yeah. of the fun is that kind of like playing with the ever shrinking map of like, okay, how long, Ooh, there's 20 seconds. That's not that far. I plan to play this judgment game with it too. That little bit of strategy. There's just so many weird strategy elements that come into this very simple idea yeah. It's just a ton of fun. And I, I think, I think too, I think a lot of it just has to do with the players coming with their own strategy. Like, the game itself doesn't inherently have those strategies built in. Like, you're making those strategies. Like, there, I mean, there's, like, very simple gameplay. It's a very simple... You can duck and shoot, like, any other third-person shooter. And, like, the building stuff is, isn't even, like, the most strategic aspect of that game. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just because you have 100 people with all trying to come up with new ideas of how to, like, play each other out. That's... That's what makes this game interesting is not the game itself, but the people playing it. Yeah, and there's, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's no direction. Like when you play a Call of Duty or a Battlefield or any other deathmatch, you get the little loading screen. It's like, have you tried finding the blank? <laughs> Did yeah. you know when you hit the swear button? Da, 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 and it tries to give you these like, hey, hey, play a game like this, play a game like this. This has none of that. It's just like, yep, you're okay, you're here. Go. Yeah, go, <laughs> do a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, when? And then, like, yeah, the. Yeah, it's like everybody else will decide how you're going to play this game. You, We don't know what they're going to do, so uh, yeah. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I really like this. I, th- I think it's going to end up on my top 10 list for sure. I don't even know if I'm going to have 10, maybe top 5 list. I'm not sure how many games I'm going to figure out that I like this year. I played a wow. lot of good games, but yeah. This is a separate <laughs> conversation because this year has had some crazy good games. <laughs> Listen, ne- looks, uh, tune in next week for a uh, Zelda v- review. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, I think the last thing I want to talk about really quick here is the co-op aspect of this. Because me and you tried, oh, yeah, yeah. Me and you played a couple of co-op games. And playing solo is kind of its own thing just because you're kind of yeah. on your own. It's this really cool isolation feeling of like, oh, man, where's everybody's against me. And then you can do either uh, teams of two or teams of four. Yeah. And so we just did the teams of two probably five or six times. And it completely yeah. changes your mindset because now it's a lot more of that different strategy of, okay – you run in the house, I'm going to kind of peek around the corner here, and I'm going to wander mm. over this way. Or, hey, we're in this house, I think there's something over there. You stand on top and watch and kind of see where I'm going. So the co-op in this, I think, is really, really, again, I don't even want to say well done, just because yeah. the game doesn't lead you to anything. But it's the way it's set up, it just instantly works. And I don't yeah. really like playing co-op games and normally, I really don't like playing co-op games with you because you like to go way too slow. <laughs> but this one works like perfectly because there's that weird balance of like you have to go slow and you have to be yeah. a little bit aggressive and you have to, you know, to win, you really have to do all these things. And I think the, the co-op mode yeah. just, it works so well in this. Yeah, I think it's because I had to speed up and you had to slow down. Yeah, so, so we, we found like, like a really good middle. medium. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's it's weird too because like because the call because you can do that sort of like pincer attacks like okay I'll go over here I'll you go over here sort of thing but on top of that too there's this additional layer of having to share resources yeah which is kind of weird 
And like that is something you don't have to consider at all when you're playing single players. Actually, have an issue because all the it's like mine, 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 mine. But now it's like shit, dude. What gun do you have? Okay, we gotta make sure you at least have a pistol. And I already have an assault rifle, so let's get you a good gun. Yeah. And then we sort we're sort of cut. We kind of like went back and forth on like, okay, you don't have armor, you grab an armor. Okay, I got the armor this time. Just back, 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 back. Yeah, because you're because um, you're discovering these things together now, and yeah. it's yeah that is a weird dynamic that you don't even think about. Is like it it's I'm going to die if I have an assault rifle and you have nothing because if everybody's <laughs> exactly. playing actually the way you should be playing, it's essentially turns into a two V two firefight. So if you're sitting there going like, I've got a pickaxe and you have an assault rifle, I'm like, in, in any other situation playing by myself, I'm in a good spot. I have an assault rifle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, I have an assault rifle and I'm still going to die. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I like, I like the, I like like teaming up on other, it is, there's nothing cooler than actually like this game of, does the, okay, we'll shoot on three, like one, two, yes. three, oh, yeah. fire. Like it works so much better than any game I've ever it played seem, before. It doesn't even seem like you're like trying too hard. It just instantly happens. You're like, okay, there's a dude by that tree. The other guy's yeah. about maybe 20 feet to his left. You take the, all right, ready here. There, it doesn't even feel forced. Like I feel like a lot of games yeah. it's like, oh, I'm in cover. Okay ready you know it feels forced it feels like you're almost bottlenecked into that situation it feels like you know the game is directing you to this thing to have this moment happen like like every single player game is like okay you take out the guy on the right i'll take out the guy on the left Um, (laughs) i'll follow your lead okay so i can just sit here forever until i hit square right but but because everything in this game is so natural and so player developed it just it doesn't even feel forced it just it feels so much better because it's this is happening because we set this up yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. That, yeah. The game's great. No, I, oh, <laughs> no, I, no I, really, I really like that aspect. And I like I like when we like when Punt can plan an attack. And like when we you pull it off, it feels amazing. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, if you haven't tried Fortnite, it's free uh, on PS4. <laughs> like, that's the other thing. This game's free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's, yeah. there's no microtransactions yet. There's, yet. Yeah, yet <laughs> being a big word because they've got to be coming down the line because with as many people are playing this now they're gonna be making money but at this point it is just a fun little sandbox to run around in uh that's mm-hmm. free and not that big of a download or anything so if you have a ps4 you should go pick it up i think it's, is it on pc is it on xbox, it's on PC one? And xbox one in a while yeah oh. it's on all of them if you have any of that stuff go play this do you have, do I have <laughs> yeah go play this i thought it was just a ps4 thing okay yeah cool there, there is no reason to not play this yeah even if you're skeptical yeah. give it a shot because i was very skeptical i don't even remember what I was probably listening to Easy Allies or something, and they were talking about it. I was like, yeah. okay, right, 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 right. And then you download, you're like, oh, okay, yep, nope, this works, okay. <laughs> yep, and your first match will suck. Yes. It will be awful. <laughs> yes, you will get probably about 91st place, and then by the third or fourth one, you'll figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what the hell you're actually doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I promise the game is not garbage like you might think on your first match. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... We are Workforce Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Workforce Gaming. Subscribe to us on YouTube or wherever else you're listening. And we will see you next time. Bye.